Research on gratitude stemmed from the field of positive psychology. Studies have repeatedly demonstrated that there are tremendous benefits from making gratitude an integral part of your daily experience. The benefits are noted in the individual's physical health, sense of well-being, sleep, relationships, productivity, and involvement in the community. Grateful people are happier people than those who do not live in gratitude. An article in Psychology Today summarizes the seven benefits of gratitude. One, gratitude opens the door to relationships. Saying thank you to acquaintances increases the likelihood the relationship will grow into a friendship. Two, gratitude improves physical health. The people who feel grateful exercise, take better care of their health, and report feeling better. They get sick less often than others. Three, gratitude improves psychological health. People who are grateful have less stress and envy. They are happier and report a more positive disposition. Four, gratitude enhances empathy and reduces aggression. Grateful people are more pro-social. People who are grateful are less likely to retaliate against others. They have compassion. Five, grateful people sleep better. People who spend 15 minutes jotting down grateful thoughts before going to bed have better sleep and longer sleep. Six, gratitude improves self-esteem. Gratitude reduces social comparisons, leading to more confidence in how a person will perceive themselves. Grateful people appreciate the accomplishments of others. 7. Gratitude increases mental strength. For example, gratitude was a major contributor to the resilience for the 9-11 terrorist attack survivors. Gratitude supports people to overcome trauma. Research has demonstrated that gratitude can be developed by engaging in journaling. The act of taking a few minutes to reflect and journal leads to a stronger sense of gratitude. It takes persistent effort to develop gratitude as part of your practice. Studies have shown that the practice of writing and reflection should be sustained for 21 days to inspire a perspective of gratitude. We can learn to live with gratitude. It is a practice that will take attention and work to explore and cultivate. We will review the portals for discovering and cultivating gratitude. Angela Arian, in her book, Living in Gratitude, provides a framework for appreciating the benefits of gratitude practice in the four quadrants of life. The benefits may be found in the areas of work, relationships, finance, and health. Combined, these benefits develop character and spiritual growth. The benefits of gratitude practice are multidimensional. From the work of Robert A. Emmons, we know that people who keep gratitude journals are healthier and have a better sense of well-being than those who do not. I would maintain that thanks are the highest form of thought and that gratitude is happiness doubled by wonder. Gilbert K. Chesterton The practice of gratitude enhances the experience of happiness and inspires the human spirit. Work Environments and Communities Cahill Gibran said, Work is love made visible. For some, the work they do is in service to others. Teachers, chefs, doctors, designers, and artists, for example, are some of the many professions that maintain and sustain systems to support and care for others. There are also works within the community that stem from gratitude. Financial well-being. This refers to our sense of solvency and abundance. People respond positively to gratitude, and this response directly impacts both generosity and their relationship to abundance. 
Consider the story of Ebenezer Scrooge from Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol. His life review with the spirits led him to appreciate his life with gratitude and to be moved from miserly existence to one of generosity and abundance. In work environments in which workers are appreciated by their superiors, there are evident increases in productivity, creativity, and cooperation. These attributes lead to a positive impact to the financial success of the business and, in turn, the employees. Relationships Relationships are vessels to gratitude. There are the blessings of our lifelong partners, lessons about communicating with greater compassion and integrity, mercy and kindness with friends, and protections of parents. All relationships offer the potential for the experience of gratitude. There is the give and take, the reciprocity to gratitude that intertwines generosity and gratitude. By mutual giving, we form the bond with a web of feelings in gratitude. There is also the relationship with ourselves. Gratitude is a source of discovery of the authentic self and may inspire us to spiritual meanings of grace, transcendence, and synchronicity that may be found in nature, silence, art, music, family, and friendship. It can bring wholeness to life, developing our character and spirituality. Let us take time to consider the teachings within this lesson on gratitude, what it is and is not. You are invited to revisit the concept of gratitude through reflection and practice. As you open yourself to manifestations of gratitude, consider how you may apply these mindfulness principles to support you in your experience. Explore your feelings of gratitude and in gratitude with non-judgmental awareness. Know what you are aware of. Notice gratitude in your experience. Create an opening to your gratitude without trying to fix it. Open your heart to a sense of care and appreciation. Hone or deepen your appreciation in the moment. There are many forms of contemplative practice that you may apply in your exploration of gratitude. This image of the tree of contemplative practices comes from the Association for Contemplative Mind in Higher Education, ACMHE. It is a multidisciplinary academic association with an international membership of educators, administrators, staff, students, researchers, and other professionals committed to the transformation of higher education through the recovery and development of the contemplative dimensions of teaching, learning, and knowing. This is one of many resources you may visit as you learn about gratitude. Whether your gratitude is for something, someone, a blessing, or an occurrence now or in the past, your appreciation is an opportunity to remember, image, and feel grateful. This is the time to refer to the download to support you in your reflection and practice. As you process the messages, exercises, thoughts, and feelings that surface, consider how gratitude moves through the portals of your experience in your daily life. How does gratitude exist in your relationships to self and others? Your health and well-being, your work, service to others, and your sense of finance, generosity, and abundance. As you explore where gratitude is present in your life, you may find changes to your character and develop an awareness of yourself growing spiritually. What are the blessings, 
learnings, mercies, and protections through which gratitude is bestowed and appreciated in your life. What comes to you as you explore that for which you feel appreciation? Where does gratitude appear? As you apply your gratitude practice, take these steps to focus your attention. Begin by reviewing your thoughts and notes that came to you throughout the lesson. Pause to review the reflection questions. These questions may support your meditation, journaling, or drawing practices. Find practice exercises that speak to you for personal and shared exploration. Share your thoughts and questions through our Facebook forum. Commit to affirmations as you apply gratitude to your daily life. I offer one additional thought as we leave the lesson. Finding gratitude may be as simple as this wisdom from Alex Haley. Find the good and praise it.